these zero fans are really happy since they are getting two free skins and three paid skins for the upcoming collaborations between Nike and Rezero. So let's talk about the patch notes that they just dropped, what we're getting, some of the quality of life changes, my opinion on a couple of the skins. There is a couple really good looking ones. Before we start though, hello the internet, welcome back to the Waifus. I'm Steffi, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to help me grow the channel and let's go directly into the patch notes themselves, alright? So, Maintenance, as usual, on 21, we're getting this. It's gonna be a 7 hour maintenance. The killer wife is gonna be available everywhere if you were waiting for her. Now is the time to pull or to add her to your wish list if you missed the chance previously, right? Emilia, and this is really important. Emilia can increase the attack in proportion to the max ammunition capacity. If you remember, Rem is a machine gun. So this is gonna be interesting. They are actually making a synergy between <laughs> a synergy between the normal characters before they do it for Elysian. I will never understand what Shift Up is doing with Elysian, but maybe one, one day we will understand, right? What machine guns will be able to take advantage of this? Well, most likely the DPS ones. And right now, in game that we can make use of are Guillotine, Ludmilla, Modernia, and also Elec and Diesel are really, really good in terms of, you know, you don't have the other DPS ones. They are really good support, sub DPS units. So those are the machine guns. But the important thing is we don't know if this is based on her own max ammunition capacity, so for Emilia, or on the ally that she is buffing. So we'll see how that works. If it's machine guns, this could be good to open up more team compositions with Modernia and with Guillotine and with also Ludmilla. So that's nice. She also has an AoE attack on her burst because she's an attacker water abnormal. So interesting to say the least. I think this is the first uh, character that increases attack in proportion to max ammunition. Again, always happy to get the new buffs. Now, Rem, this is the important part, SSR Rem, the younger sister, she is a support healer, she recovers allies HP in proportion to the damage she deals. We'll see if it's a lifesteal, like Helm, or the damage she actually does, right? we'll see how this works. She also boosts herself and allies using rocket launchers, and who uses a rocket launcher? Yes, her sister. <laughs> other than her, than her sister, who also uses rocket launchers, because her sister is an SR unit. Let's be honest, SR units sucks in Nikkei. It, it's a reality. None of them are actually usable. You can use one on your team. If you have like a decent composition, four good units, you can be using an SR. But the reality is most people cannot afford that. So I too could be a really good candidate for this if she can't keep up with mode B, Power and Scarlet Black Shadow, and of course also Lab Chance. So those four units are the ones that most likely will benefit the most from Rem books. Again, we have to wait, test, see what's going on. So after that, Ram, and this is the best part of the patterns in my opinion, SR Ram. <laughs> She generates a shield to protect her allies, and when together with the members of her squad, she can cast her burst skill quicker. So I'm assuming she's gonna be a 40 second, but if she's with her sister or with Emilia, she becomes a 20 second, similar to Blank. We'll see how it works. I think it's stupid. Yes, I think it's stupid that they are making this before they actually make a good synergy on Elysian. We've been asking for Elysian units, for good Elysian units, since release. We've gotten like two. Decent units. We got recently the killer wife, amazing. We got recently as well Miss Marcy, and then we got um, what was the other one we got that was decent? Made Primati as well, but that's it, right? We still don't have proper team synergies in Elysian. Maybe one day we get them. Also, important for new players, this is an SR character. In Nike, there is no good SR character, literally. There is no good SR character. Maybe they make an exception and you will be able to use her. Outside of Anis for PvP or N102 for newer players, there is not really any reason to be using purple characters, sadly, even though there's a lot of them with good designs, but it is what it is. It's what Shift Up has been doing since release. I wish they start changing this. If Ram is the first to do so, I will not complain. I will actually be happy. Because this guarantees, or it should guarantee, that in the future they will also buff the other SR units. We'll see how good she is though, right? However, no expectation from me on this. We also have the Re-Zero event itself, which is, you know, the cross event recipe for you. I'm gonna skip this, this is the usual things for the event. We're getting the minigame, we're getting the challenge, we're getting the 7 day login calendar, etc, etc. Now, important new costumes there is five costumes <laughs> a lot of costumes first of all the skin for rosanna is coming next month as the mission pass 
is dangerous. That mission pass we're gonna be doing a giveaway with multiple skins. So you know, I will make a short video announcement for that when it's ready, but you know, just a heads up in case you wanna wait to see if you can win it instead of purchasing it. Now, Rem, Emilia getting two skins each. Ram completely ignored, as usual, SRS, <laughs> okay? And this ties together with what I was saying previously that Shiftap just doesn't care about SR units. So, Emilia is getting two skins, one that's free, one that's paid. The skin that it's free, it's actually cute, okay? This is free. This is completely free. You complete the story challenges, and this is what you get. A cute skin for Emilia. I'm actually down for this, so I'm happy. My issue is the paid skin for Emilia, because the paid skin for Emilia is this one here, Clumsy Maid. She's just borrowing literally the same outfit as Aid. And for those of you who play Nikkei, you might know that Aid is actually one of the least fan service characters in the game. Okay, look at this. So this is the gacha skin, $60, you're getting a new burst animation, you're getting new voice lines, you're getting some materials. Unless this has a lot more fan service than it currently has, for me it's a complete skip, because I don't care enough. Emilia is getting this skin for free, and a gacha skin we have not seen, and Rem is getting this free skin, and a paid skin that we have not seen. So this skin, for those of you who don't know, it's literally also another maid, that's Soda, it's, it's Soda's costume, but for Rem, and this is, it feels cheap. To me it feels, again, like what we've been seeing previously, like rushed, because you are just reducing two outfits for two new characters. Now it's given for free, so you know, you could say, okay, Seth is for free, don't complain about everything, and yeah, I can agree, even though, again, I, I see no reason as to why they should have this, instead of something different, since she already is a maid and is getting another maid costume, but again, it's free, we will take it. She's also getting a mission pass, so one like this, where you will be able to get some pools, some materials, and some molds. Again, this depends on how it looks. To me, it's a skip for now, unless it has really good fan service. So, for now, Two paid skins that I'm skipping, two free skins are actually looking good, and then the Rosanna skin that for me, that's what I'm gonna be spending my money because she looks amazing. As I was saying earlier, we skip the, the event itself because it's the same as always, right? Double story, challenge, day login calendar, the mini game itself, and Felber's weekend during the event, so that's good. We're also getting new solo raid, new union raid. No leaks yet on what this is going to be or what boss. So depending on the boss and how much of a pain it is to do with it, I will do it or we'll just do, you know, our attempt for 5 to 10% and get our second frame, which is more than fine. And then we're getting into what's new in the shop. We don't care about that. I do want to go into the bottom, however, because the last part that's super good finally it's new feature added the quick battle feature in arena this is unlockable after you complete chapter 11 so chapter 11 normal story you will be able to finally unlock arena the quick arena the quick battle functionality only on rookie not in a special i hope they add this to special arena soon i just keep rookie arena every day because it's like, I don't want to do it, uh, it's, I'm too lazy. But now that we have the escape, it's easy to do, and we'll just be able to do this in literally 10 seconds. So really happy to get this, we'll see how it works, with it, if it's uh, worth using, or if it's gonna be having some weird issues where how it calculates you winning or not, depending on your level of combat power. There is a lot of weird interactions that could be happening, so we'll be testing that live when the patch drops. That said, those are all of the patch notes. Do let me know if you are happy about the free skins, or if you prefer something else, and if you are interested in seeing how Emilia is going to be looking on AIDS costume to be able to, you know, charge $60 for that. <laughs> so, all that said, as usual, this is gonna be it for this one, boys. We're gonna be live later. Come say hello. Thank you to my Patreon for making this content possible. Good luck with your pools and rates. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bench bambuts will kill it to a cool you could have.